Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella, former lead designer for McFarlane Toys, Diamond Select, uh, Toy Biz, and I'm also a comic book creator. And all the books you see here are from my company, Mellow Art World. Please stay tuned for the end of the video to find out how to get these amazing books. So Shadow of the Kraken is also shipping as we speak. And uh, today's figure is actually a custom build Chun-Li from the Street Fighter series, um, specifically the look from the Alpha series. And uh, yeah, so this is a completely custom build. Uh, these are the items that I got in order to build the figure. We have a Fison body. Uh, I made sure, um, well, you guys will see it, the close-up of uh, what model of uh, Fison body that is. So it's silicone on top of stainless steel. Um, I found everything on eBay. So, um, yeah, you could, uh, well, put together your own. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll break this down. Uh, the specific costume, it's just the two pieces. And, uh, and the wrist, um, bandolier things, or whatever it's called. Uh, and, uh, the sneakers were separate and the head was separate. So, um, yeah, pretty easy to put together. Um, it might not be 100% accurate to the the look of the actual game, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, but yeah, this is the model of Feist and Body that I had used. So this one is the Medium Bus Suntan, um, and the actual number of the model is there. Uh, these are the sneakers, again, found on eBay, pretty cheap. Um, costume was about 25 bucks, I think, um, and the head. So uh, yeah, and... Yeah, here they are. I made sure to get them all out of their packaging. Well, they're plastic. Here is the body that I, I'm going to use. Again, um, it's silicone over stainless steel. And super, super uh, articulated. And uh, yeah, so here are the uh, stretchy kind of pants. Uh, you got to go all the way up on the body uh, to put them on. Here is the top. Uh, it's put together in the front with Velcro. But it's nicely done. Again, shoes, they're hollowed out. So um, the Fison foot just slips right into them. They're the, the wrist items. And uh, this is the head sculpt. Now, uh, I this might be some kind of recast from something else. Or the person I got it from made it themselves. I don't know 100%. But the paint job is pretty nice on it. Although, they goofed on the mouth area with the gloss. Like... I guess their brush slipped or something and there's some extra gloss on her face. You can't really notice until you put like a light shining on it. So it's it's all right. And you can see kind of like the glue a little bit for those uh, pieces for her hair. But um, other than that, it's all right. And here she is kind of all put together. And I got to say, it's one of my favorite looks for the character. Um, and in the video games that they've done. Yeah, I like the, the classic costume. But I do have um, the SH Figure Arts version of that. Um, so I'm fine. I don't need a 1-6 scale uh, with that costume. Although I know there's a third-party company making one now. It's going to be coming out, I think, later this year. But uh, I, again, I prefer the Alpha look. I'm a big fan of, of that costume. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, one of the first video games or Street Fighter games um, that I had owned had that look too. And I, again, I, I think it's awesome. So uh, very cool. And uh, yeah, the fabric's fantastic on this. Um, again, just be a little bit patient with putting it on over the silicone body. But uh, yeah, I, once it's on, I think it looks fantastic. And there's nothing to worry about uh, for the legs, you know, all seamless. Here's a better close-up look at that. And hell yeah. Totally awesome. You can see a little bit of the gloss on the left part of her mouth, but, you know, what are you going to do? Maybe you get a little acetone or something. I don't know. But either way, I, I think it, this figure looks absolutely amazing, um, the way that it kind of put it together. Uh, the sneakers are not 100% accurate, but um, I'm cool with the yellow and white. I mean, technically I could paint it, but um, I'm, I'm cool with how it is. So articulation, again, it's a Fison body. So the range is absolutely amazing. The head could go all the way up, all the way down, side to side. Um, the way that it's put on, you could kind of adjust the, the height for the head as well. You know, um, the butterfly joints in the arms, you know, it could cross all the way. Uh, again, just like a human body. Um, 
you know, there's some things that could do a little bit better than a human body, other things slightly limited, but they're super articulated, the best articulation you're going to get out of a 1-6 scale figure. Uh, arch in the back is absolutely amazing. Uh, again, I think there's two points of articulation in the torso area. And uh, yeah, the crunch forward is absolutely amazing. Again, all the way. That's incredible. And then some. You could actually go a little bit further than that. But uh, yeah, so there you go. So if you got a martial arts figure, you want you want to get a body that's uh, going to be able to get into some amazing poses. Uh, side to side is fantastic. Um, again, once again, the, there's two, yeah, I believe two joints there. Uh, it could twist. And all the joints are super tight, you know, so they'll hold the pose, whatever you put them in. Um, you can definitely do the Van Dams or the Chun Lees, whatever you want to call it, but perfect splits. And that's really cool. Again, it's a character that needs to be able to do splits. That's what she's known for in the video games. So, uh, yeah, she's got some, like, upper thigh rotation up there, too, by the knee. Um, again, great range of motion. Um, it could swivel from there as well. Uh, like I said, the articulation is, is super, super cool. A uh, beautiful ball joint for the ankle. And yeah, so all in all, um, 10 out of 10 on articulation. And uh, yeah, um, I just grabbed the newest figure that I had, uh, which was the Squid Game one or the Squid Guard. So I just used his base. Um, Again, I haven't done uh, a figure review in a couple of weeks. I've been fulfilling my latest com uh, comic book campaign, Shadow of the Kraken. So if you do want it, the um, links are going to be in the, in the description. Or just go to viniart.com. It'll take you right there. So, um, but anyway, yeah, since I, I've, I've, I've been pretty busy, um, I kind of made some time today. And I wanted to uh, put together something that's been kind of sitting for a while. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been intending to do this um, kind of custom build and review for you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope you are digging it. Again, the costume is super cool, fantastic. Um, I kind of prefer the yellow and white sneakers um, to what she actually had in the video game. Because it's like that, it was like teal and yellow, like kind of matching the top. But I'm cool with how that looks. Uh, and yeah, uh, this is also um, Mortal Kombat. Uh, one six scale figure. I did a lot of modding on that. I'm not finished modding this guy. Um, I just I haven't had time because I think I'd, I'd have to bust out some paints as well on him. But uh, I figured, hey, I got a fighting figure. Let me get another one uh, and kind of recreate just you know one or two little poses. So yeah, I hope you guys like this one. But yeah, Chun Li, uh, one of my favorite characters in uh, Street Fighter, and. Again, I wanted to put this one together. I'm very happy I did. Um, I know the only thing that's really, really not accurate is like the hair buns. She's not supposed to have the white on there. It's just supposed to be her braided hair kind of curled up and with yellow ribbons. But um, again, I'm fine with this uh, slight take on it. Uh, and it makes it more, um, I don't know, more my own, <laughs> more custom, I guess you could say. But um, again, I, I always like the those white buns anyway. So all in all, uh, I think it works. It looks great. This, this figure is uh, just a lot of fun to pose. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys could see that in here. Uh, and if you are a fan of Chun-Li, uh, like I said, it's pretty, pretty easy to put this one together. Um, I would kind of jump on it sooner rather than later. I know I think like the head uh, is she's getting a little bit harder to find. Um, and, and once they become more scarce, the eBay people usually shoot the price up on them. So, um, yeah, if you're all looking for it, uh, yeah, jump on it now. Uh, the costume, uh, again, uh, I don't want to say it was too difficult to find. Um, I think they released it twice. Because uh, the first time, I couldn't find it anywhere. Only one person had it and sold out. And then about a month or two later, I saw it again. And, uh, yeah, you can pretty much find it now um, just by typing it in on eBay. Um, you know, Chun-Li 1-6 scale. But, uh, yeah, well, and I figured let me get some poses in there for you guys and girls. So you could see uh, more of what the body could do. And, uh, you know, recreate some poses from the game uh, itself. 
and uh yeah so that's what we're doing here anyway but um yeah i don't know i'd, I'd like to make a couple more custom figures but uh it's just about time and money right now and space uh yeah so i again um there's a kind of a famous piece of artwork uh that a few people have, have done so i kind of try to recreate a pose like that you know holding her leg up uh almost like a dancer too a dancer a martial artist they kind of do poses like that but uh yeah it works i think it looks cool and again just some more different ideas of what you could do remember with the feist and bodies um the legging should be fine but the arms if you keep them in a bent position too long you don't you might rip the silicone over time so remember try to put them in neutral poses uh after a, a day or two that's what's kind of recommended on their packaging as well but um yeah for the legs it, it'll be fine you could have her in a seated position it would i don't think it'll tear the silicone uh and even if it did the uh the actual um fabric is hiding it anyway so i, I think you're golden there but like I said, all in all, um, really, really cool piece to add to the collection. Um, and I do have like a little video game kind of uh, section between Resident Evil. Um, I got a Dante from Devil May Cry. Uh, I might review that as well soon. Um, he's been one I've been wanting to review for a while. I think you guys and girls would really like that one. But uh, yeah. And this is uh, definitely a pose from the game as well. And I just wanted to see if I could recreate it. And I could. And the balance is fantastic on this. I didn't need a stand or anything. So, uh, yeah. It's uh, one, one of the moves she does uh, in the game. But, uh, yeah. Really cool. And, uh, yeah. That's it. Don't be afraid to uh, put your figures in uh, some sexy poses. If that's what, they, uh, that's what they're known for as well in some of these games and comics and movies and stuff. So, take that, Todd. <laughs> but anyway uh yeah and, and i love just being able to put them in kind of neutral sitting down poses as well uh, again these fights and bodies are so cool but um again a lot of artists use them for uh you know just getting different ideas um inspiring for different poses and whatnot in their drawings you could do that as well but uh either way there you have it uh, i do hope everybody enjoyed this review uh, I'll be putting up some more. There's a few figures I've been meaning to get to, uh, and I'll start to make a little bit more time to get those reviews out for you. Uh, I also put up some more Harrison Ford kind of, uh, uh, funny, um, entertainment news, um, videos soon as well. You guys know him as Hans Cock. So <laughs> go watch those. It's kind of like a parody thing I've been doing. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, everybody, please be kind to one another. Kick ass while you create. And uh, yeah, hit like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys and girls next time. Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella. And uh, we have Through the Woods, hardcover book written by Frankie Tartamella. Uh, all the artwork is done by me. It's a beautiful hardcover book. Take a look at this fantastic artwork. This is 98 pages ghost story uh i think everyone's gonna love this thing it's amazing and uh yeah we have another fantastic project here city of venus i wrote this one i did all the artwork on it uh, another fantastic project uh i'm going to be putting a link in the description to all the videos and uh yeah so please check this one out and uh thank you very much both of these books are available right now and they ship immediately so, uh, yeah, take a look at the size difference as well. Uh, one's more in a European format, and the other one's like a standard comic book. And uh, we also have two uh, beautiful art books here, volume one and two. Uh, these are 52 pages each, and it just has just a whole bunch of different stuff in here from uh, your favorite characters, uh, pinups, um, yeah, pretty much everything, and the kitchen sink. So, uh, yeah, these are also available, and they're on the City of Venus campaign.